Hello, hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Pretty good, thank you. What about you? I am doing great. Very happy because I am here. Another day has just almost finished and we are here together. Almost, and that's the most almost important. Almost finished the week and start the vacation. <laughs> yes, well, I finished my week on Sunday, so I still missed a lot of days. <laughs> <laughs> but it is going to be nice because we are just about to finish with this week and you are going to have some time for you to rest. Do you have plans for vacations? Uh, Do you have plans for vacations? Uh, the next week I I have to work. Oh, really? I will work. Ah, it's because you are in so San Miguel, Monday, right? to Monday to Tuesday. Oh, just two days? Or to uh, Thursday? Wednesday. Ah, okay, to Wednesday. From Monday Wednesday. to Wednesday, and then you have a Thursday. I come you know? back to, the, to San Salvador. Hey, that's nice. But, but then the, the last week of August, I take a vacation. Ah, so you finish the project, right? No, but uh, my my vacation is divided. Uh huh. Divided. Divided in, in 20, 20 days along the six months. Oh, I, okay. I take two two weeks right now and. Uh, Falta. And miss and, and you missed. I, and, and, I and you say like and I missed. Uh -huh. One week. Hey, that's very nice. So you are you have a, like a, is it collective or it's individual? Uh, individual. So you don't get the fifteen days on a road. Not necessary by the kind of work. Yeah, I mean, you cannot, you cannot miss it. The same thing happens to me, but well, there in my job, we do it collective. And so we take the vacations according to the other vacations because we cannot stop working, for example, we cannot leave students unattended. So that's why I cannot take like 15 days without the principal, right? Okay. So that's why we have this a split vacations, exactly like. Well, my dear class, welcome everybody. Today we had a little homework to do. Did you finish it? Which homework you're going to say? Ah, homework. Ah. Really? Hey. really? What? Ah, hashtag Toso Mojor and we forget the homework. Uh -huh. I lost my mind. Uh -huh. Yes. You forgot about the homework, about the presentation, the professional presentation. <laughs> no, teacher, I, I, I made an exercise. <laughs> okay, good. So I am going to, to wait to see, to see if it's true. <laughs> well, before everything, uh, remember that we are going to be uh, doing, and let me just share it for you. Today, we are supposed to be working on the SIT former presentation, right? Introducing yourself in a professional way. It was that you had to choose a different information about you, about your skills, your experience, your abilities, and for sure, at the type of person that you are, right? That's what, what you have to explain a little bit on uh, presenting yourselves. So meanwhile, while all the other ones connect, uh, you can uh, start building up your presentation, right? Remember that it has to include your skills and qualities, your experience and education, your achievements, and the type of person that you are, okay? So it's just like 
a brief a brief description right for you not to say like hi my name is natalie and i am a teacher i am 37 years old thank you very much right for you to present in a more professional way right for you to present in a little bit more professional way and your impact in an interview for example or in a moment on which you have to share your english skills will actually uh, show up right it's not just like ah Hi, my name is Natalie. I am from El Salvador. We all live in El Salvador, so we are all from El Salvador. Many of us, right? And uh, in this case, if you create like this type of presentations, it is going to be a little bit more like it will create a little bit of impact when you express your abilities on the language, right? And on the video that I share with you on the on the chat, right? You have the different uh, forms, the different examples on how to introduce yourself, right? So we are going to work a little bit on this type of format, right? Before we before we go to the practice of the day, today we are going to talk a little bit of hardware. Uh, it's hardware, sorry. We are going to talk about warehouse vocabulary, okay? Warehouse vocabulary, and we are going to practice a bit of the inventory, right? That it's what it's. Um, the schedule for today. So if you haven't prepared your participation, right, your presentation, you can do it right now, organize your ideas for you to present. It's going to be something very short, but uh, I really need you to have it ready, okay? okay? A little presentation. You can organize your ideas a bit right now. And you are going to say for sure, well, if I imagine if I say, okay, who's Jorge Humberto? Tell me about you and you are going to start expressing. Well, eh, I am Jorge Humberto. I am like this and this and this. What are your skills? Uh, what is your profession, right? What is your education? Some of your achievements and for sure the type of person that you are. highlight the most important things about you. Welcome to all the rest of the students who are connecting. Silvia, Juan de Dios, that is on the car. Jose Carlos, Yvette, and Marlene. Marlene, it's a pleasure to have you here. We were missing you a lot. Thank you. Yeah, welcome, welcome back. Okay, prepare a little bit on writing your little little introduction, right? Remember today is our class number 19. Today is our class number 19 and we are going to be working a little bit on reading also about the final part of the unit, right? In a moment, we're going to talk about uh, what we did in the previous class, right? There was a lot of practice on the if clauses. But right now we are getting ready with the sit format, right? The presentation, how to introduce yourself in a professional way. Okay, write down some ideas. Meanwhile, I will give you a couple of minutes for you to have it ready.
Okay, let me share it again that I pause it, sorry. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> La maleta. <laughs> He's traveling. Yeah, I can see. How nice. It is pretty awesome when you travel. Definitely. I like that. Me too. I really enjoyed it. Teacher? Yep. How can I say detallista? Well, you can say, uh, I pay close attention to details, but because many people say I am very, uh, what? Uh, detailed and that's not correct, right? So they, I pay close attention to details. Right, and it is in some other cases, there is another word that it's called picky, but it's like, ah, con una media cosita, y como que, ay, no, yo, yo a mí no me gusta, right? Ay, no, así me gusta. So you are but like, what about perfectionist? A perfect, because the perfectionist, it's a person that who wants everything. I mean, perfect. it has to be more than perfect, right? When you pay close attention to details, it's like um, you take care of what you are doing. Right, for it to be in the best way possible. But in a perfectionist, it can be great, it can be fantastic, but it's never good. Um, both of you. And? Both. What, what was? Both. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, in that case, if you are both, then yes, you are a perfectionist. <laughs> yes. yes. Congratulations. Congrats, yeah, if you have the combo, yes. <laughs> <laughs> leave, it, leave it on perfection is then <laughs> yes yeah because in many in many cases when you say like uh, that uh, so someone is very picky it's like delicado it's like i know no, no, ni le toquen ahí porque hmm. it's no. like i, I love <laughs> everything right but soy, uh, soy clavada, clavada. <laughs> so yeah you're a perfectionist <laughs> you are a perfectionist but in some cases it's very good, right? In some cases it's very good. And I think you are, you are an engineer, right? Or an architect. Architect. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> you have to be, you have to be a perfectionist because yes. if not, am I in the house? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you have to pay close attention to the design and to the, to the, to the lines, to everything has to be perfect, right? Because yes. if not, when you create Jorge Humberto's house, it will be on a side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty awesome. Okay, my dear class, we are close to finished. And for sure, for you to have the chance to actually talk a little bit about and introduce yourself in the best way possible. You forgot about my homework, huh? Se les olvidó la tarea a todos. No, teacher. It's like, <laughs> no, teacher, ¿cómo va a creer? ¿Cómo va a creer usted? Which homework? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. George. <laughs> No, we, we are doing it right now. Aquí estoy como en la escuela, cuando no la hacían y la hacían al nomás llegar. Y todos. Ah, what? What homework? Huh? Hmm. What homework, teacher? I don't remember. Ajá, ajá. For today. Ajá, yes. 
aprobada. Este the dog eat my, my... <laughs> As a result. My cats eat it. <laughs> my, my cat ate my homework. As a result, I don't have it and I have to do it right now. Aha, uh -huh, I said. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. It, it is very common. Well, but the thing is that we, we had the chance to actually go over it here because it's something short, right? It's something short that you can actually do in a, in a moment here. Teacher, how yep. do you say perseverante? Perseverant. Perseverant, perseverant. Thanks. You are very perseverant. She has many skills. Yes, yeah, she is indeed. She is very skillful. <laughs> she is very skillful. It's like when you have many skills, right? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you have do you have a your participation ready? Or not yet? Yet, okay, I will give you a couple of minutes to finish it. I am going to add a couple of uh, skills and abilities here. Okay, I have a couple that you can use like empathetic, active listener, a problem solver, a patient, intuitive, perseverance, self-control, self-awareness, motivation, a good negotiator, a mediator, someone who remains calm under pressure, someone who thinks before speaking, someone who provides constructive criticism, right? Those are a little bit of the emotional skills for the emotional intelligence. Teacher, am, yeah? how can I say destacar? Uh, give me the complete sentence. Um, he logrado destacar, um, Un área donde la son uh, well, in that case, you can say like, uh, I have developed, I have developed, uh, it can be, I have developed professional skills in a non-common environment for a woman. What? <laughs> I have developed professional mm -hmm. skills in an environment that it's not common for a woman. I am going to write it for you. Okay. <laughs> yes, Let me write you. it. Let me write it here next to the next to the uh, things that I am sharing with everybody. Okay, let me just write it here. I have I'm going to make it bigger. Don't worry. <laughs> okay this is and that is something nice right that is something really good that you have developed these skills right and i'm going to share it here for everybody let me make it bigger for you okay 
Here you go, Yvette. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, thank I, you. I have developed skills in an environment which is not common for a woman. And I am happy about it, you see. <laughs> and we thank all you. are happy. We all are happy because of that, right? I want to see more ladies as an architect. Did you get the idea? Yes, thank you. Okay. So for the leadership skills, I have shared a couple here. Motivator, self-started, responsible, accomplished, objective, flexible, collaborator, transparent, strategic, communicator, results-oriented, empathetic, energetic, and trustworthy. Right, that's for you to get more ideas on, on vocabulary. Right, and many of these skills are very good for your resume. And I am going to share the last one, the last list of skills that I have for you today. Right, I have this one. What is the meaning of results driven? Someone who is a strategic, a self started, someone who is organized, someone who think on their feet, right? Like you think on the ground, right? You don't like, hey, maybe this is going to happen. No, right? Punctual, disciplined, great motivator, passionate and hardworking. Let me see the messages in the chat. Okay. I am, okay. I have not arrived home yet. Okay, I have some students who are still on the run. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Can I decide for all these, all these adjectives or qualities or, or it, well, I, there are skills and qualities, but I can decide for many of them or, or, or yeah. I have. All the ones that you have. For example, if you have a lot of skills, you can mention not all of them, right? Because on a first, mm -hmm. on a first uh, uh, share that you're going to have with a person, for example, when you are introducing yourself, you are not going to share all the resume at the moment, right? But you can take the most important ones, right? You can take the most important ones and for sure that it's going to say a lot about a, and a person is going to be curious to get you to get to know you a little bit more. Because you shared, like, for example, if you say, like, well, I am very dedicated and passionate about what I do, right? The person can say, like, ah, this is a very good candidate to continue listening, right? Okay, thank you. Then we are going to ask the expert here, Diana, <laughs> what are some of the experiences that you can share at the moment of getting the candidates for the job? But in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> do, do people lie a lot about their skills, Diana? Sometimes, yes, because they want to pretend something on the interview to have the job. I am very punctual and <laughs> they never, never arrive <laughs> on time. Yeah. You should record it. It's like, ¿se acuerda cuando me dijo que era puntual? Look. <laughs> okay, good. So I can see that many of you have advanced a lot on, on the process. Very good. Hello, Cristia, Mr. Manuel. Hello, Rosita. I haven't said hello, hello to you. Hello, hello. And let me see Mr. Omar. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I am here already. You are here. Thank God. Yes. Great. We are doing homework. Como es que a ustedes les gusta hacer la tarea juntos, ya vi. Se sienten solitos así, no, no se inspiran. Es para que todos hagamos bien, teacher. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, you help each other. Yes. Es a ti. It's, yeah. a, it's a teamwork. It's teamwork, Sorry. right? You are very collaborative, I can see. Yes. You are yeah. a very you are a very good class. 
that's our, my skills teacher. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, now on your skills, you can say that you can speak two languages, English and Spanish. Almost. <laughs> even even if it is like if you are still working now it's a skill that you have acquired and many people do not have it yet so you can add it to your skills <laughs> definitely for sure you you must add it there we are trying teacher you are doing your best More or less. No, you are doing your best. Definitely. Definitely. You know, uh, there are many people who are still thinking on starting. And now you are doing it. And that's admirable. Okay. Thank you for the kisses to the gecko out there. Okay, hey, Jose Carlos, you have it ready? Yes, teacher. 20 you minutes ago. You did your homework, gay, eh? fantastic. Okay, so we are going to start with you. You will be the first one to present and then we are going to be choosing the next participants, okay? The Me seat for <laughs> For sure, that's okay, don't worry. Go ahead, Jose Carlos. Okay, this is me. My name is Jose Carlos and my skills and qualities are that I always pay close attention to the small things, for sure. In my job, when I have qual, I have a quality that I don't like to come hungry as fast. However, I like to everything is okay and it's fine. I like to teach the perfect way to my team because I'm the manager from the from my department, right? So, I always provide the constructive criticism from the team. I always say, hey, man, pues poder, dale, dale, y ahí estamos. Bro. Aunque no pueda el tipo, pero ahí estamos, ¿me entiendes? I encourage, you say, I encourage yeah. my team. Yes, I say, I believe in you, man. Go ahead, do it, do it. You can do it. Even though I know that sometimes it is false, but, but I try my best. Okay. <laughs> so but my, but you, you encourage them, that's good. Yeah, uh -huh. my, in my experience, well, firstly, I started as an assistant. And after that, I come a technique in my area. And three years after, I become the boss of my department. And I am an I am an counter. My achievements are that I all that all the areas where I have been, I always try to give my best, even though when it means overtime or extra times. I work all the time through goals. Nice personal very, goals. Very nice. And what a type of person I am. I am patient and I like to provide the opportunities for, for my co-workers. And I like to provide the required equipment. Very good job. Very good job. A clap for Mr. Jose Carlos. Very good job. Something important. When you are introducing yourself in a professional environment, you are not going to be telling, like, for example, my abilities. My qualities. I know today because it was the homework, right? But for example, on an interview, you say, well, what can I tell you? What can I share about me? You know, I am a very passionate teacher. I am very committed to what I do. I am always looking forward to help people. You know, I have been a teacher for 19 years and you are joining the different <laughs> stages like in a, in a little story about you. Okay. So in a professional interview, you are not going to say my achievements are this, 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 and this. The type of person I am, this, 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 and this. No, right? When you do it now, like professionally in, a, in, a, in an interview, for example, you are going to be going from a stage to a stage, like telling a little story about you, right? You are going to say, for example, you're an accountant, right? Yes. Okay, so you can say, well, as an accountant, I pay close attention to detail. 
I have been on the field for 20 years, imagine. And I have done many things because I started as an assistant, then I was a, a person in charge and now I am the manager. I am a person who takes very good, uh, who takes a lot of care on detail and things. So you give the different stages like in a nice flow. Okay. okay, thank you. That's that's the tip. But you have the information in this very, it's very nice. The information was very good. Congratulations on all the things that you have done. Mr. Omar, go ahead. I saw your hand up. Or did you have yes. a question? No, you want, no. you have it ready. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Thank you. Good evening. Good My evening. My name is Omar Hernandez. Uh, skill, self-demanding, respectful, Persistent qualities, communicative cordiality, helpful teamwork, teamwork, pardon, uh, experience, experience in the finals and accountability area, uh, bachelor degree in public accounting, uh, achieved complete bachelor degree, uh, Oh, person is a, I are hard worker. Okay, you are a hard worker. You're an accountant as well. Well, yes. the same, the same piece of advice that I gave to Jose Carlos, right? Once you do it like in a very professional interview, you just go stage by stage, right? I am a professional accountant. I do this and this. I have been an accountant for this type of years. I have done this and this thing in life. I am like this, 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 and this. And you share your um, your abilities, your achievements and everything on one little story, right? So, but that is very good. So try to give it like that. Traten de darle ese toque como que me lo están contando sin decirme cada una de las etapas. But very good achievements, the ones that you have had. Mr. Omar, congratulations. A clap for Omar, people. Very good job. Anyone else who has it ready? I have it ready, teacher. Okay, Diana, go ahead. Okay. Uy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uy, <laughs> go <ahead>. Okay. <laughs> um, Diana Chereguino, I like to be called as D or Chere. I am a psychologist and I work on human resource as a career path analyst. I graduated from the University of El Salvador in 2018. Then I started working at Atento, a call center on Spanish, as an agent because I didn't find opportunities on my area at that moment. But after that, in 2020, I decided to start my own clinic, attending patients. And currently, I still have a few of patients, but on December 2021, I start working at Web Health and International Call Center. Um, I like to study, read, and taking courses about my career to continue growing on the knowledge and experience to increase my opportunities and my profile. And not only on my area, also on other things that are helpful, like studying English or Excel. I consider myself an intelligent person, responsible, perseverant emphatic and these traits have helped me achieve my goals and continue with my personal and professional development without these skills i'm sure that i will not have gotten to where i am right now with an stable job and achieving the goals i set for myself when i start my career Wow, very nice introduction, very nice presentation, very good job. I just have a few things on the past tenses when you say I started, right? Started, started a perseverant and emphatic. But for the rest, it was good. You see, you were telling me about your life, right? You were telling me a little story about your life. Any person who is interviewing Diana, for example, will be thrilled to get a little bit more knowledge is like, aha, tell me more, tell me more, right? And it is not because she's a psychologist, right? But because, I mean, you organize the ideas in a very good way. Excellent job, Diana. Very good job. Claps for Diana. Yeah. Who's next? Hello. 
I had Omar, Diana, Jose Carlos, who else? Finger Craddock. Yay. Lo hacemos de Docrático. Me teacher. Silvia, go ahead. Okay. Um I like I like listen to the person and give a solution in case that I can help. And I was studying the uh, university in Santa Ana and I graduate in 2011 of Laos. I have I have uh, 11 years working as lawyer in a financial company. And actually I am lawyer and insurance brokers. My grand achievement is be professional and be mother and wife. And I consider me a serious and empathic person. Very good. Excellent, Silvia. You see, ah, you see, when you when you when you try hard, you reach the things that you want to do. You see, Silvia said, like, no, I guess I'm a pen, a platicar, a hablar. No, but you see, you have a very good, you have very good skills. Uh, just a few comments that I have. Thank you for organizing the idea, like in a little, in a little sharing, right? When you say like I graduated, I graduated. And when you say I have 20 years of being a lawyer, you say, I have been a lawyer for 20 years to make it a little bit more professional, right? I have been a lawyer for 20 years and I have achieved my dreams of being a professional and being a mother, right? Being. So you can share it in a different way. Very nice job, Silvia. Very good job. So all claps for Silvia. Very good. And Manuel, go ahead. Okay, good evening everybody. I trying to 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 tell you about myself. Um well, uh, skills and qualities. Um I I am skilled uh, to 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 talk with persons with clearly and uh, this is my main skills because uh, I have the opportunity to to have many conversations with, with different departments and I have uh, the I, I, I have the the experience in with uh, with her different moment and and my my education is in my primary study is in Centro Escolar Juan Ramón Jiménez my high school is in uh, Bachillerato Clínico Industrial. Um, in my achievement and in my uh, previous uh, job, uh, I had the opportunity to participate in, in different um, programs to, to customer service. And then uh, in cuisine and cooking and cook because I I work for six years in a restaurant. I have the, uh, I, I was the the auxiliary of chef. Interesting. And also, uh, this is my achievement because uh, I. I'm not a professional, but I I have the uh, some experience, and that my type of of person is uh, uh, I am sociable because I I like to make uh, many friends. Uh, for example, in a bus stop, uh, 
I like to make um, <laughs> friends uh, having a small conversation uh, about about common topics like uh, football, uh, not the expensive. weather, <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is a little of my oh. myself. Okay, very good, Manuel. Thank you very much Thank for you. Manuel. Very good. You know, it's easy when we talk about a different person, yes. but when you have to talk about you, I mean, you have so many qualities and you are so fantastic, but it's so difficult for us as human to look at the best things on us. You can say like, ay, que Cristi es preciosa, mira que linda, que no es que Nelson super dedicado. And you can see the abilities on others, but it's very difficult to see the abilities on you. And you mentioned something very curious. It's like, I am not a professional, but in some cases it is not a, a lot, right? What you have done, but it is really important what you know about right? Because yeah, exactly. I, I, I have seen a lot of people with, with the diplomas and everything, and they don't know how to do things. And I have seen many people who are just struggling in life, and they know a lot more than a professional. And that's admirable. Because you say, I know everything, and I know a little bit about cooking. And you told me that you were a professional, uh, an, an auxiliary of chef. And that was pretty awesome. So when you share about you, make sure that everything that you mention is the best quality of you, right? Do not doubt when you Thank share you. it. Thank <laughs> you, Manuel, very nice job. Jorge Humberto, go ahead. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. My, good my evening. name is Jorge Vela, but you can call me Jorge, like yesterday. <laughs> Hashtag, we are all Jorge. <laughs> I'm a civil engineer since uh, 2002. In my previous roles, I learned about software related to solve engineer issues. I consider my strength, my strength, 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 strength is raro. <laughs> my strength, strength, strength is my flexibility to handle changes. In addition, I like to be a teamwork and collaborate with the teammates to reach the goals. Also, I, I consider I'm a loyalty and honesty person. Uh, I like, like, like a goals, I, I can say I complete most of 10 projects within budget and specs. I have been named as a project manager in interim a couple of times this year. Uh, and also I like the sports. I love to, to run. As a result, uh, I complete most of eight marathons of 20 of 42 kilometers. Uh, uh, more about me is I'm a, a passionate about my, my work. I'm highly organized and besides creative and positive person. Okay, very good job, Jorge. Fantastic, congratulations. Claps for Jorge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> flexibility you say i am a very flexible person right flexibility is one of my skills and um, i am a team work it's like i am a team worker right team i am a team worker right porque te está refiriendo a ti como un, alguien que le encanta trabajar en equipo right i am a team worker i am a, i am a loyal and honest person Okay, because it's like I'm a person loyal. No, like I'm a loyal and honest person. I have completed, I have completed, right, the different runs. And when you say I am a passionate, right, you say I am passionate about what I do. Okay, passionate. I am passionate. Okay, and strengths, strengths. Strength. Okay, very Thank good. You. And weaknesses are the, the contrary, right? Strengths okay. are the things that you are good at and weaknesses are the things that you need to work a little bit more on. But 
It was a very good job. Thank you, Jorge. Cristia, go ahead. Hey, good evening. Uh, my name is Cristia. Uh, I am pursuing person regarding my goals. I am a sociable and hardworking person. In my work, I am punctual. I really punctual. <laughs> and I like to give solutions to solve problems. My first job was as tour guide from family groups at PolyTour. Two years later, I graduated, I graduated from my university. So I am currently, I am currently a production planner and I have experience in logistics and coordination of materials from aviation company. But the job of my dreams, it is to work in something related to tourism because I am an active person and I really enjoy talking to people and teaching or guiding them about place. Places. Uh, regarding my achievements, I am proud to be studying my master's degree. This will help me to grow professionally. And I am a happy person with a positive and, social, and sociable attitude. I love spending time with my family and I like to travel and meet new people. Fantastic, Christia. Very good description. Excellent claps for Christia. Very nice. So you are punctual. You are very punctual. And you say, my dream job, huh? Your dream job is being in something related to tourism, right? So when you say, I am a happy person, you say, I am a happy person, right? I am a happy person. So congratulations, Cristia, on all your achievements so far, right? It really invites people to go and get to know you a little bit more. Congrats. Miss Yvette, go ahead. Hello. Hello. My name is Get Alvarado. I graduate in Albert Einstein University. I have been an architect for 19 years. I pay close attention to the details and perfectionists. I am, I am an architect by my experience in the engineer area, area, area? area. especially area, especially in urban design. I have developed professional skill. I am environment which is which is not common for a woman. I am the boss of the, the engineering department. I am a response. I am a responsible person who gives the best of myself. I like to learn new things that help me to be better. Wow. Let me just finish right now. <laughs> Congratulations, Yvette. Imagine all the great skills that are behind this camera. All the great skills that I'm imagining, all the professional uh, greatness that I have here. Congratulations, congratulations. So you are the, the boss of the engineering area. Department. The department, wow. So you see, as I have, I was taking a, a course a few, days ago about leadership and gender development and they were mentioning that nowadays more and more ladies are being involved in all the different majors it doesn't matter what type of major it is now there is no this taboo of like no it's only for boys or only for girls there are opportunities for everybody so Yvette congratulations right you have developed developed a lot of skills you are responsible and for sure, when you say, I am a person who gives the best of myself, you say like, if you are talking about you in third person, you say, Yvette is a person who gives the best of herself. Okay, si estás hablando como en tercera persona, pero si lo estás haciendo en primera persona, I am someone who gives the best of myself. And it was a very good description. Congratulations. Very nice, Yvette. Very beautiful. Miss Carolina, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Carolina Hernandez. I really like numbers and mathematics. 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 And I, I am a very persistent person. And I rarely give the up in situation. I also have a skill with the elaboration uh, of the aircraft 
And I love many of them such as crochet embroidery, machine sewing, and jewelry. Uh, jewelry. 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 Okay. Uh, I study business and administration. I work as medical assistant and I have experience working with patients. Uh, I have managed to learn to deal with patients and a little to have patients and a curious scale to, to deal with them. Um, I, I consider myself um, an accessible person and willing to help people when I can I can and I have a, a strong. I am also a, an organized person and I like everything in order. So you are Only that. organized. 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 When you say, I am good in math, you can say. If it is difficult to say mathematics, you say, I am good in math. Right, I am good in math or I am good with numbers, right? I never give up on things, right? I never give up on things. Uh, you are a business, you work or you studied business administration. You work with patients, right? With patients and you work on patients, right? Very good, very good detail there. Okay, now let's go with, who's next? Who's next? Chan, Chan, Chan. Thank you very much. Hi, I don't know if you can hear me because I'm out of my house right now. Don't worry, we can listen to you. Okay, I will try to do my best. Well, okay, uh, well, about me. My name is Rocio Veronica Lopez, but I, my, my friends call me Rocio Veronica. And I am industrial engineer and I like my career because let me get knowledge about everything and meet people and, and also spend this is the, my, my experience with my, with my friends. And I have a lot of things to talk about my, my work and I like that. Um, well, I consider my skills are resilience, uh, good communication, um, um, teamwork, and interpersonal skills that I, I, I consider I have. And also, I consider um, I'm a kind person and I'm a happy person. I, and I also, I love all the time. <laughs> And one of my goals is learn English. And because in the past, I felt frustrated because I can't express my ideas. And I had a lot of opportunities to get, uh, uh, I don't know how to say beca or- Scholarships. Uh, scholarships, yeah, that's right scholarships and I lost that opportunities because I didn't know English. And also I, I, I started to learn English about my, myself and then I decided to study here. And I think one of my goals right now is learn English uh, with fluency, with confidence and to be proud of me of that. Very good job, Rosia. <laughs> very nice. So you see, very good, very good, very good. You have achieved a lot. My God, if you want to speak with fluency, you are reaching your goals because you are doing <laughs> it in a very good way, right? And you say, you. I have teamwork and interpersonal skills, right? Mm -hmm. Say, I have teamwork and interpersonal skills. And you say, like, mm -hmm. I, I can in the past. It's like, I couldn't express, right? I, I couldn't. couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. And I lost that opportunity. You say like, I lost those opportunities because it's plural, okay? But for the rest, it was a very nice presentation. Very good job. See you. <laughs> Thank Excellent. You. Thank you very much.
Tati, go ahead. La veo con ganas de presentar, no sé. <laughs> go ahead, Tatiana. No, I, I didn't finish, but in a, in a moment I will, okay. I will, I will share with you. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Who else? Olga, do you have it ready? Olga, Nelson, Rosa Beatriz. Can you listen to me, teacher? Yes, I can. Go ahead, we all. Okay. My name is Rosa Beatriz. I prefer people call me Beatriz because it's the name of my mother. I'm a Spanish teacher. I have been working as a Spanish teacher for over six years. I'm 32 years old. I am passionate about learning new skills. And I, could, I wish I could talk English with more fluence and with a better pronunciation. When I'm not working, I like to spend time reading, watching TV, or exploring with my dogs. I take them visiting parts or even just walking around my house. And I... My phone. No, Kaim. I'm sorry. No okay. worries. That's it. Okay, so you like exploring with your dogs, right? It is curious when you tell me, teacher, I, I don't know how to speak English with fluency and I don't know how to do it and I feel that I can't. And when you start doing it, it flows just like that. So the idea of English, and as I always say, it's a matter of practice. Practice is going to bring you perfection, right? And not to be afraid of doing the things, okay? Not to be afraid. You are going to make mistakes, yes. But the idea is that you actually uh, conquer the fear of doing it. It's like, I would like to speak, to speak English a little bit more fluent. And you gave me a lot of ideas in a second, right? <laughs> so very good job, Rosa Beatriz. You did a very good job. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing all that. And it is cool that you are also a teacher, right? You understand this world. <laughs> yes. How old, are, how old are your students? In this moment, 12 years old. 12 years old. So, uh, yeah, it's a very difficult environment. But, yeah, I really admire your profession. Very nice. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Claudia, Juan de Dios, Nelson. Olga. Hello. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Nelson Gabarrete. I like to be called uh, Gabarrete. Uh, and skill and quality. Uh, I am keen, responsible, honest, polite, and punctual. And uh, uh, car driver, uh, uh, motorcycle, uh, I am targeting a dog grooming. Uh, <clears throat> and experience in education, uh, secondary education. Uh, uh, Achievement, uh, fan course, fan course, uh, dog drumming course, uh, entire office, entire office person you are is a, I am a shimmy, feeling the world underground. Okay, Nelson, my God, you have a lot of, you have a lot of skills. Imagine if you think about like, no, es que no, yo no tengo talento. My God, you are like a dog groomer. You can ride a bike. You are, you are good with sales. You can, my, you have a lot of skills and that's very good. And you are learning English and that's the best part of everything. The good thing, Nelson, is that you continue practicing, right? Now that you speak a little bit more, okay. right? It's going to help you to organize your ideas a bit more. And I can see that you are doing it. That's pretty awesome, right? I am 
kind, you say. It's not okay. kin, it's kind. I am, I am kind, kind, ah, kind, kind. Right? When I you say like kind. about okay. education, you say secondary education. So like about my education, say I finished secondary education, right? Remember to, to make secondary. it clear. Okay. And uh, let me see, a dog groomer, yes. And I like to be <clears throat> called, I like to be called Gabarrete, right? Yes. Oh, not call it. I like to be called. Uh, I like to be called. Okay. okay. So thank you, Nelson. Thank Very you. good job. A lot of experience. Really admirable, right? Really admirable experience. Keep on the great job, Mr. Nelson. I clap for you. Very good. And let's see, Miss Olga, go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Olga Gomez. Uh, I like to be called Olga. Uh, my friends uh, call me Olguita. And my work, me, my co workers call me too <laughs> Olguita. Olguita. And yeah, I live in Colón uh, with my family. In general, I I get to my home uh, late because the traffic on the street of Chorros is uh -huh. horrible. Is <laughs> terrible, yeah. But um, is uh is um, Uh, I show in a non-profit institution and I have a, a daughter, she's 13 years old and she, she is um, beautiful, <laughs> it's a more beautiful daughter for me. And I have a pet, to, her name is Fiora. She's a dog. And I'm studying English a little bit in the night all day. And I'm trying to learn and learn uh, each day. Okay. It's, uh -huh. it's, <laughs> okay it is good when you are learning that you try to learn something new every day so Olga very nice effort the one that you are doing even when you arrive home very tired because of los chorros but yes it is really admirable continue doing the good job and continue taking care of that beautiful daughter that I am sure you have thank you for teaching for teaching ah thank you very much for me it's a pleasure to help you I, I really yes. learn a lot from each of you. Claudia, do you have it? Go ahead. Yes, teacher. Uh, my name is Claudia Melendez. I like the I graduated from Unicaes and with a degree in industrial engineer. I am really good at listening to people, working under pressure, and I like things with I like things done with excellence. I am kind and I'm brave and I enjoy reading and spend time with my family. My achievements are that I start working before I graduate. I'm very comfortable leading teamwork and I really enjoy work with people and develop their abilities and skills. I am a very social person and Okay. One, some of my goals are that I want to study a master's degree to develop my career. And I really want to learn another language besides English, like French or Italian. Nice. That's all. Excellent, Claudia. Very nice job. Very good. Excellent and very fluid. I really like it. And it's like I am very social. I am very sociable. Sociable, sociable. right? I am very yeah. sociable. And there at Unicas, you have a lot of opportunities to study master's degree. They have a whole variety and they are very good. 
Congratulations, you, very teacher. good, Claudia, excellent. Another engineer, you see, for the gremio. <laughs> Bien, ya ponemos una, una oficina aquí con todas estas skills. <laughs> so, let's see, Juan de Dios. Ah, Juan de Dios is in the car. And I'm missing Tatiana and yeah. Marlene. Oh, but you, you have it, yes? Yes, I, I will try driving. Ah, be careful, uh, Juan de Dios. <laughs> I am parking right now. Ah, ok. Ya, ya me pone, ya me da paz. Eh, ok, entonces sí. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello. Eh, I am Juan de Dios Mejía. I studied at University Francisco Gavidia. I have been working eh, for 15 years ago as an I graduate as an industrial engineer and five years ago I become uh, the production manager I at this moment I am a, a schedule the program for the production in the plant. I I have doing the schedule for the for the teams. I like to work with my team as a role model. I like to help them in in the process. Uh, I like to get the Goa calls every month and I like to to be very patient with them and I I like to 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 work very hard every day in my free time, I I like to spend time with my family and watch action movies. I have uh, four kids, and two live in Canada, and, and two live with me. I have a pet, Her name, his name is Loki, he's a people, and I, I like to, I like to uh, study English. <laughs> nice, nice one, the Dios, very good. Very good job, thank you for sharing all those details with us. Right. When you say like I become right, I became I became because you're talking in past. Right. I'm very patient. I like to work Thank hard or I am a hard working person. Right. You have four kids. Wow. Yeah, I, I have one and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I get crazy. with I get one. Very young. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see because how old are you right now? Um. 40 years. Yeah. I started when I was 20. Wow, imagine. Well, but it was it was still a very good moment because you are enjoying your, your kids. <laughs> you are enjoying your, your life. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Juan de Dios. Very nice presentation. Remember, uh, when you keep it uh, professional, you're going to keep it simple and organized. Very good. And uh, Tati, go ahead. Okay, okay. Yes, Thank you. Okay, uh, this is me. My name is Tatiana Michelle Sanchez. Uh, the most of the people call me Tati and that is okay for me because I, I like Tati too. I have studied three years of business administration at Francisco Gavidia University. And I also done one year of English, English intens, Intensivo at Centro Cultural Salvadoreño. Uh, I haven't finished, but in the future, 
I'm talking about the university. Uh -huh. I, 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 in the future, I that is one of the things I will do. Uh, I have a lot of experience about customer service, loyalty, and all the banking service because I worked at Banco Cuscatlan for nine years. And after that, I decided to change my mind and I try to, and I try in an English call center as a back office agent, doing something completely different, but I really enjoy what I do right now. Uh, well, uh, about my skills, my personal skills and qualities, I consider I am a critical thinking person, flexible and problem solving, motivated, and I'm very competitive too. Crea uh, crea creative, 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 innovative, and dynamic. Um, my best achievement is I have, I have keep a goal to learn and speak English. Uh, I have done a lot of hard work. As a result, I am now able to communicate in English. Uh, my goal is to get a better job where I will be able to learn, travel and grow. And that's all for me. <laughs> wow, very nice. Very nice working experience. The one that you have shared, Tatiana, very nice. You gave a complete switch from going from the bank to the call center area, right? It's a big, big change, but I can see that you are enjoying it, right? Most yeah. of the people, you say most people, most people call me, right? Most people, you don't say most of that. And you say like, I have kept studying English for all this time. Very nice presentation. Very good job, Tatiana, very nice. And last but not least, we have a uh, Marlene and Nicole. Go ahead. Marlene. Hello, hello, Marlene. Miguel Angel, do you have your presentation ready? Just your microphone, sweet. I'm connecting teacher. Uh... Oh. Okay, Miguel. So maybe we can have it ready. If it is not for today, you can have it ready for tomorrow. We are presenting ourselves in a professional environment, right? And a plus for Tatiana, yay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, Miguel, we were, we were doing the presentation that I was mentioning yesterday. Estábamos trabajando en la presentación que quedamos de hacer la tarea el día de ayer. <coughs> About no, the, the seat. Voy so, a improvisar. Okay, go ahead. Present yourself. Okay, uh, I'm connected, teacher. Uh, And the rain brought me. <laughs> yeah, the rain brought you, right. Try to build it up. Mejor, trate de armarme la idea para que lo pueda presentar de una manera bien ordenada. Trate de armarme la idea de su presentación. Si no la tiene para esta clase, no, no, le, pues, lo hacemos al nomás en, iniciar la clase el día de mañana. Donde usted me comparta okay. sus skills, sus qualities, experience, education, some achievements of your life and the type of person that you are. Por eso tiene que tener un, un, un momentito ahí de, para armarlo. ¿Ok? ¿Puede armar puede, la idea? Puede ok. Puedo improvisar, pero... Uh, um, uh, my, uh, my word bore. Uh, uh, my word is bore for me. Uh, um, I'm a builder. You are a builder. Are you, so you, you are like in the accounting area? In the area uh, accounting. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, uh, is um, la voy a amar bien. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, por eso sí necesito que, lo, que me arme bien la idea para que lo pueda hacer de la, la mejor manera. Bien. 
Okay, very good right. job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. People, I am going to call you the attendance and then we're going to go over the reading section that I have ready for the day. Excellent job on the presentations. No sé si me queda alguien más sin presentar. ¿Quién se me queda? Creo que todos, todos pasaron. Estábamos llamando a Marlene. Si me escucha. Si me la puede mandar por WhatsApp. Pitch. Okay, I am going to do it in a, in a second. Ya la voy a volver a compartir, okay? So, remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Carolina Jamilet. Present teacher. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Miss Christian. Se nos perdió Christian. ¿Qué pasa? Thank you, Manuel. <laughs> Ok, Cristia, quizás me la sacó la lluvia. Ok, let's see. But she was right here. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. José Carlos. Present teacher. José Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Emanuel Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, Miguel Ángel. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, teacher. Norma Carolina. Normita, Normita, Normita. Ok. Eh, Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma Ivette. Present. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. Present. And Dani Anthony. Okay, thank you very much. Omar, the one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to be on you if you have some minutes for you to stay at the end, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, yes, Diana. I said Diana, Diana. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I yeah, but I, I, I wrote your attendance, don't worry. Okay, my dear class, fantastic. Thank you very much. So yesterday we were working on the if classes. I don't know if you can see my screen. Yes or no? Well, right now, yes. Yesterday we were talking about the if clauses, just to catch up a little bit on what we were doing. Tell me, students, what is going to happen if you decide to start a new career? If you decide to start a new career, what will you study? Medicine. Medicine. Yes. Okay, medicine. Cool. If you if you decide to start a new career, you will study medicine. What about the rest? I will study public relationships. Public relationships. Good. What about the rest? I will study veterinarian. I will study architect. Architecture, right? Architecture. Very good. I will study laws. Loss. Excellent. What will you study? Let's see. Business administration. Bit, business administration. That's a very good major. Tell me, if you have nothing to do tonight, what will you do? Imagine that you yeah. that you are not here. <laughs> I will let you see. Open my book. Teacher. I will be sleeping. Open your book. Sleeping. <laughs> Open my book as a result, sleep. <laughs> it's watching like TV. watching TV. I do it also. That, that will be something that I will, I be, will doing. be sleeping. Sleeping, right? It's yes. like, let me read <laughs> on the book. <laughs> okay. I will, I will go go out, teacher. With my oh, but it's raining. Come on. It's no, like yet. <laughs> 
Todo se inunda. I will be in the feria. <laughs> yes, buying some traditional candies. I I don't know why, but I I am very like uh, I am very like um I don't know. I really want to go to the fair to want to 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 buy uh milk candy. Yeah, I want to buy one, and I don't know why, but I want one of the fair, right? Sí, que venden en no sé dónde, que en típicos no sé qué. Yeah, but one of the fair. Esos que andan rodando por todo el mundo. Yes, it's very... <laughs> it's very good. delicious. They are yeah, very, very delicious. delicious. Tell me, if your English improves a lot, what will you do? If your English improves well, a lot, what will you do? Get a job. Of to get a better job. I will get a better I will job. Get a better. Uh -huh. I will teach classes, you say. Talk with my boss. <laughs> to, to talk with your boss. Tell me. I will speak the whole day. <laughs> the whole day. You will speak the whole day. If you run out of money, what will you do? If you run out of money. Travel a lot. <laughs> No, but if you run out of money, no. it's like, oh, I will ask for my house. I will ask for my house. I will ask for my house. Okay. I will go to La Cornucopia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to sell my, my computer. <laughs> no, because you need to study. My, no, no. My cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay. This is myself. <laughs> my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no no sugar anything it's okay no you go and, and work <laughs> good i will go to el salvador del mundo <laughs> <laughs> to ask for money right for sure <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> tell me if you live to be 100 years old if you live be, to be i will be very sick <laughs> I will be very sick. Yes. Because 10 years old. Now, 100 years old. I think I will be very annoying. Yo cuando sea viejita voy a ser de esas que hostigan. I will be tired. <laughs> tired, of, tired of living. <laughs> tired of living on the and everything. <laughs> Tell me, if you win the lottery, what will happen? If you win the lottery. Travel. I will um, buy a house. I will buy a house. I will travel too. Travel. Yeah. I will leave my job. I will leave I will my start job. A, I will start a company. I start a company. You know, I will work as a hobby. <laughs> just, just as a hobby. Right? Tell me, if you wake up late tomorrow, what is it going to happen? If you wake up late tomorrow. I will be late at home. I will be. I will be late for my work. I will be late. I will go for help. Yeah. Teacher, I will be late. Uh, and as a result, I will be late. As a result, I will have a hint. <laughs> you will have a hint, and they are going to and they are going to uh to put their like a personal card there. It's like on the on the information about you. So like, mm, llegadas tardes, tantas. Mm, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, only one. Well, my dear class. So yesterday we were developing a couple of uh, sections of vocabulary and we were using the reading, right? We were practicing the reading. And as I told you yesterday, you, we just did the introduction and we are going to be working on this one today. That's what I mentioned yesterday, right? And the reading works a little bit on codes and safety regulations, right? About the job and about the things that you do at your job. And exactly as what we did with the previous reading, I am going to leave it open right here for you to check on new vocabulary. If you don't have new vocabulary, then we're going to go and practice pronunciation and reading, okay? Check for new words or new vocabulary. And if you have them, you can mark them here. Las pueden marcar en Zoom con su lapicito. O eh, me las dicen y yo las marco. Any 
En Zoom, si se han fijado, cuando ustedes comparten, sale una, una, como una línea negrita y ahí dice, hay un lapicito que dice anotar y ahí usted puede hacer estas marcas en la pantalla. Ok. So there you go. Check it out. Go around the reading. Read it a little bit. And if you have questions about any word that is new, tell me. Disruptions. Disruptions. Which one? Let's disruptions. See. Okay, okay. Let's see. Work disruption and reduces up sentence in the first paragraph. Workplace disruptions, right? Disruptions and reduce absenteeism, right? Good, Nelson. Very good. Passaways. Great. If you find more, mark them. Fewer. Let me see. Fewer. You can send it on the chat as well and I mark it. No more? Sure. Yep. Bulky. 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 Letter F. Bulky. I, I mark it already. I have here Debris, 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 Debris. <laughs> All of you have the same question on Debris. Debris. Garbage. Another one. Bings. Binks. Garbage, Nelson, very good. Okay, don't, don't. Letter G is bailing. Which one? Bailing, bailing. Bailing materials. Letter G. Bailing materials, right? Bailing materials. Okay, mark them down for sure. And I'm going to answer your questions. Let me see if I don't have more on the chat. Okay, I have another one on the chat. Let me see. Shelves. Shelves. Let me see. Where is it? The shelves. In the last line. Ah, here it is. Okay. Debris is like a uh, desechos, piezas, escombros. That is debris. Desechos. But from like pieces of metal, pieces of stone, pieces of material, right? Pieces of wood. And garbage is basura in general, right? Passaways are pasillos, right? Pasillos. Fewer, menos. En menor cantidad, right? Disruptions, interrupciones, right? And absenteeism. Uh, it's the same as in Spanish, right? Absentism. <laughs> it's the same, right? Reduce absentism because when, for example, when a person gets sick or it's injured, for sure, it's not going to go to work. And so it reduces absentism. Bulky, it's like uh, abultado. 
for like muy lleno. Bulky. That takes a lot of space. It's too wide, right? Es demasiado grande. Toma demasiado espacio. And let me see if I have another one here on the chat. I have ladders. Ladders son escaleras. Ladders. Let me see here. Ladders. Shelves son como las. How do you call this in Spanish? Las. My goodness. I don't remember. Eh, estanterías. Estanterías. Estantes. Shelves. <laughs> it's a problem that I, I forget the words in Spanish. Right, los estantes, the shelves. Okay, estanterías. Let me see. And I think those are ah, bailing materials. What are bailing? Bailing materials. Bailing is, let me look for the definition of this one. Empacados. Okay. Empacar, empacados. Right, bailing materials are like material de empaque in this case. Bailing materials. Okay, so we are going to divide the reading in three sections, right? We are going to divide the reading in three sections. Beans are containers, Jorge. Containers. The beans, the garbage beans or the garbage containers, right? We are going to divide this one in two, in two parts. I am going to divide it in two parts, right? We are going to have all this ones as one part and this ones as the other section, right? And we're going to work on this one together, right? We're going to work on pronunciation a lot. So please pay careful attention to the pronunciation because later you are going to read it, okay? Later you are going to read it aloud. And it says, there is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PLs look at safety as meeting the minimum in structure by the law or their cons uh, cons conscience. Conscience. It's a difficult word. Conscience. In the long run, However, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions and reduced absenteeism and equipment downtime. Absenteeism, right? Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work, establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education programs starts with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Make sure that garbage and debris being are available throughout the warehouse. Read with me. Make sure that garbage and debris bins are available through the warehouse. Make sure throughout the warehouse. Throughout the warehouse. Throughout the warehouse. Make sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Dock doors, right? Keep aisles and passaways clear at all times. Keep your back straight and don't bend over. Keep your back straight and don't bend over. Don't bend over. That will be a recommendation for all of you. Keep your back straight and don't bend over. Right? No se encorbe, diría mi madre. Keep your back straight and don't bend over. Right? Okay. Yeah. 
Mi mamá me ponía un metro sí, en la espalda. Perfecto, no sé. <ríe> un metro de esos de madera. <ríe> no sé. Jesus. <ríe> Keep your back straight and don't bend over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. Teach employees... Sí. The employees to push manual material and rather than pull loads. Okay, to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. So people are like, ah, ah, <laughs> si puedo, they say, and they are like, <laughs> and they can't. <laughs> Test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep docks and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Keep dogs and flowers free from oil. dirt, and oil. Debris, and oil. Okay, dirt. The last one. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. Available. Lifting devices. Lifting, lifting device, device, device. device. Appropriate lifting devices. Appropriate lifting devices are available. 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 Tell me what, what is going to happen if your warehouse is completely dirty and disorganized. What is it going to happen if your warehouse is dirty and disorganized? You won't find uh, anything. You won't find anything? Imagine that you have boxes on the pass away. The product lost. Okay. You are going to have problems at the moment of uh, looking for things. Do you think that if you have a uh, food materials, uh, they are going to be in a safe and clean environment? No, right? And what will happen with your employees? Do you think that they are going to be safe or they are going to have a lot of accidents? They will have a lot of accidents. They will have a lot of accidents. So that is what we want to avoid, right? We want to avoid having a lot of accidents at the moment of working, right? So you have to follow the safety regulations. Okay, so with these ones, the ones that are related to general housekeeping, the ones that are related to general housekeeping, which one do you consider that are just general for cleaning and housekeeping? Mention a couple of them. Do you think that to keep aisles and passaways clear at all times, it's about general housekeeping? It is? Yes. Okay, and let's see. Make sure that the garbage and debris bins are available through the warehouse. What does it belong to? A cual pertenece esta? The first one. General housekeeping. General housekeeping, right? This is letter A. What about this one? Block access to exposed open locking doors. False and other preventable mishaps, manual lifting or forklifts and material for handling equipment. Or policing material handling equipment. Block no. access to exposed open loading docks. 
A false and other. False and other. Preventable. Right. It is in order to prevent, right? Yes. Because you yes. need to be careful on that one. Keep aisles ah. and passaways clear at all times. Yes. This is a, a general housekeeping or false. Manual lifting or forklifts. Manual lifting. Keep aisles and passaways clear at all times. Uh, general, general, housekeeping. General, housekeeping. general housekeeping, right? Porque todo tiene que estar desocupado. Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Manual lifting. I don't know. <laughs> Ma manténgase recto. No se encorbe. What do you think it's that one? False teacher. False and other preventable mishaps. False and other preventable mishaps. Sure. Ay, my God. A. a what happened? A, I, I, a, I, I raised for, it. For this material handling, I keep equipment. Okay, four lips are like mechanical things, right? And material handling equipment. Ah, okay. So in this case, when you say like keep your back straight, don't bend oh. over, it can be in the manual lifting because it's on the on the process of, of yes, yes. 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 yes, to use the, 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 the manual lifting. It can be here or here because it is uh it can be preventable. Right? Yes, preventable, yes. Sí, ya le dijeron que no lo haga y usted sigue haciéndolo. So that's mm -hmm. preventable. <laughs> Teach employees to push manual material rather than pulling loads. This is manual lifting, right? Manual lifting. Test the load before lifting it. If it's too heavy or bulky, get help. Manual lifting. Manual lifting, right? Si puedo con estas siete toneladas. No, right? It's not possible. Keep dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. General housekeeping. General housekeeping. Very good. Uh, housekeeping. Permit access to above floor racks, shelves is only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. The last one. Letter H. Right? Letter H. I love my handwriting. No me critiquen mi bella letra de. de... Con el lápiz. Yeah, perfecta. <laughs> it you was want very... to be a better thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 I did my best effort, right? Escribir con el mouse es mi pasión. Yeah. <laughs> I did it horrible. Okay, good. Thank you very much, my dear class. Very good job on classifying the material. So we're going to do the final exercise of the night. It's a conversation, right? We're going to start unit four with a conversation and we're going to work a little bit on the inventory, right? In the inventory, for sure, it is important that you be very careful at the moment of keeping an inventory because maybe your products are going to have expiration dates. And this is one of the most, uh, I think it's really, it's a very um, delicate topic, right? You have to work on this one a lot because even on the supermarket, right? It's a big issue if you get something that it's expired, right? If you buy something, make sure that you check if it is okay or not, okay? Don't buy things that are expired. It's like, si sirve dos meses después. <laughs> no, for sure, there are products that go out of season and become irrelevant to the market, right? What is a very good example of a product that was very famous and now is not that famous as it used to be? That first everybody wanted them and it was like, give me one, give me two, give me one, and now is not that famous. A beeper. The beeper. <laughs> the beepers, right? Imagine if you say, I am going to do the business of my life, buying beepers. Maybe it's not going to be the business of your life, right? Because many people are going to say like, mm, maybe not. What about the masks? The masks. 
at the beginning of COVID, híjole, it was like, give me one, give me two, give me three boxes, take my $20 for the box. And now they are very commonly found everywhere, right? 50 masks <laughs> for one dollar. 50, 50 masks for, no, the box for one dollar 25. The box is, yes, yes. <laughs> the box. 50 units. <laughs> Imagine the ones who bought masks at the beginning of COVID, todavía siguen nadando en los dólares. And now it is a very common uh, thing. What about the ones who were selling alcohol? in jail at the beginning of the pandemic. It was too expensive, teacher. It was almost it 20. Yes. It was almost $20 the liter. And yes, now, it, it's very cheap, but I don't know if you remember, but uh, when that start, uh, the people buy the alcohol but they mix mixed with hell uh, hell uh, hair hell hell, uh, hell uh, well hand gel hand gel and it was like with with the one for the hair yes <laughs> they, they mm. did these very crazy very, combinations yes and so, very expensive and it was very expensive right and very very like uh, it was very horrible a, a touch it was very disgusting right so in this case those are very very good examples of products that go out of season right and in this case we are going to check on sara and ramon right and they are giving some tips on basic inventory control and we're going to practice the conversation later on okay here we have the conversation between sara and ramon Right, I am going to go over it. And if you have new words or new vocabulary, write them down and we're going to check them out when I finish reading, okay? It says, how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L Phone X. Don't do it. Now that L Phone X is on a stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Right, imagine if you buy uh, cases for the Blackberry right now. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, <laughs> you are not going to sell it at all because Teacher, who, who has a Blackberry I, now? Uh -huh. I, I, I was with my, with my, my, my son. Uh -huh. uh, a page uh, of sales, online sales. Uh -huh. The page is, um, the competitor of Amazon. I, I I I forget the name of this. E eBay? No. No, it's the other. It's the other. Mm. It's, it's, it's great. It's a, it's a it's a big this this page. So but uh -huh. uh, Ali Alex, no. Yes, yes, this yes, yes it, it is. Um, I saw um, blackberries. Oh really? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Give me your ping, Jules. <laughs> no, that's a very old-fashioned thing now. Your BB ping. Your BB ping, right? Fifty-four dollars. What an expensive the thing. The cost. My goodness. Yes, right. yes. For a BlackBerry? <laughs> no, thank you, right? <laughs> yeah, any wife? Bueno, en realidad, any wife que se le puede poner. Okay. Uh, well, or or an startup, right? That you were like <laughs> opening. <laughs> the folks. That, was pretty, the that was a very cool thing. But let's go over the reading. Do you have new words or new vocabulary here? I think it's a very clear conversation, right? Do you don't have like a lot to get lost? And let me see. I think most of the words are very common for you. So in this case, you say, how does inventory management work, Ramon? 
and you are asking a question. So you have to make the intonation of a question. How does inventory management work, Ramon? Go ahead. How does inventory management work, Ramon? How does inventory management work, Ramon? Management work, Ramon. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? How does inventory management work, Ramon? Very good. You are asking a question, right? Very good job. You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. You need to have enough products when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh well, I was thinking on him. I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the iPhone X. Oh, don't do it. Don't do, don't, do don't, do don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now that the Elfon X is on a stores, you will not sell much. Now that the Elfon X is on a you will not sell much. 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 That's one of the problems with inventory management. That's quite one, 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 one of the problems with the management. 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 When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market. Okay, when you have too much inventory when because you, have, you thought you, you could have. sell more than you did. When you have than you did. And there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. And there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. Very good job. Mr. Manuel and Yvette, go ahead. Yvette is Sara and Ramon is going to be Manuel. Go ahead. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell your, to your customer when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new case for the iPhone X. You do it. Now that the iPhone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you told you you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you make end up paying for products you can sell. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yvette and Manuel. Very good job. Manuel, choose another person, and Yvette, choose another person. Yvette, escoja el siguiente, y Manuel escoja al otro. Norma. Norma and, hey, let me see if Norma is here now. Normita. <laughs> no, Normita is not here. Normita, Normita. No. Rocio. Diana is ready. Diana is ready. Okay, Diana. Diana and. Rocio. Diana and Rocio, go ahead. Okay. Who is Sara? <laughs> you. And Diana uh -huh. is Ramon. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, how does inventory management work, Ramon? <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> Diana. Okay, 
but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh well. Oh well. I was thinking I, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now the L phone X is on the stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a chance in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. Very good job, very good job. Rocio, choose another person. And Diana, choose another person. Ramon. Todos somos Jorge, go ahead. Choose the next one. Um, Jorge. Jorge. Jorge and... And Rosa. And Rosa. Jorge and Rosa Beatriz. Go ahead. Ramon is Jorge. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Rosita, you start. Rosita. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Rosa and Sara. You are you are Sara. I'm sorry? You are Sara. Thank you. I have problems with my how does inventory management work, Ramo? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for L on X. Don't do it. Know that the Elphone X is on a store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you made, made an app, an app paying up, for products up. you can sell. End up. End up. End up. Paying for product you can sell. Okay, so please don't buy the new cases for the Elfon X. Thank you, Rosa and Jorge. And the last couple, who is going to be the last couple? Rosa, choose one person and Jorge, choose one person. Uh, Tati. Tatiana and... And Carolina, okay. Tatiana and Carolina, go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll start, teacher. Uh, Carito, you can start. Yeah. How does inventory management go, Ramon? Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> you ahead. need to have enough product in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thin, thin thick uh, of investing in some new case of 40 L from X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with the with inventory management. When you have too much inventory, because you you told you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in, in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. Very good job, right? Very good job. You might end up paying for products that you cannot sell. Okay, so my dear students, we are going to stop for today. And tomorrow we are going to work a little bit on the following parts of unit number four. Tomorrow we are going to work on the vocabulary. So please, if you can do the matching in your manual, that will be perfect. So tomorrow we can just review it. And for sure, we are going to work on uh, designing a little bit of inventory management system plan. And the grammar for this unit is about the qualified verbs. When you use efficiently, accurately, consistently, slowly, regularly, accidentally, right? When you transform the adjectives 
and add the suffix ly. That would be the grammar for this unit. We are going to check a little bit on this tomorrow. And remember that we are going to finish with this unit when we come back from vacation, but you can advance on the platform, okay? Ustedes ya pueden ir avanzando en la plataforma, todo lo que necesiten. If you have questions, most of you already finished, right? La mayoría de ustedes ya la terminaron. Muchos de ustedes ya terminaron la, la plataforma. Ya se quitaron ese aflicción de encima. And that's cool, right? That's fantastic. If you need help with the platform, you can ask, right? Ya muchos de ustedes ya terminaron todo su trabajo en la plataforma. Y los que no, pues, les invito a que sigamos avanzando para poderla terminar pronto y se vayan a vacaciones sin tareas. Okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. I am going to stay with Omar for some minutes and have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a beautiful night. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Juancito. I know you are driving, but have a beautiful night. Okay, I'm going to send Danny to the waiting room. Bye bye, Juan de Dios. Have a beautiful night. Okay, Omar Francisco, how are you? Bye. Thank you. It's, here. it's a pleasure to, to actually see you because I don't see you that much on the camera, but I can see you now and that's beautiful. Okay, just give me one second that I had an accident. Okay. okay. Omar, tell me, how have you felt in class? Okay. Teacher, esto se lo voy a decir en, en español. Uh -huh. Lo que pueda se lo voy a decir en español. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, de acuerdo. Para empezar, bueno, gracias, teacher. Este, que, bueno, en mi caso, el, mi trabajo es muy, muy demandante. Yo le comento, teacher, estoy, estoy trabajando, tengo a decir el inconveniente. Y no, ahí está. Bueno, no solo usted, sino también todo el, el, el equipo. Entonces, eso primeramente. Segundo, eh, su jovialidad. Eso, bueno, primera vez. Bueno, ten, he tenido otro teacher, pues, pero verlo en, en una misa es, es diferente. Entonces, eh, eso me agrada, me motiva. No me aburro en, el, <ríe> en la cuestión de, 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 de la clase. Y eso mismo me motiva a decir, ah, no, usted, quiero estar. No, no me, se me hace divertido. Ok, me nos alegra. Toma como, no, nos toma como uno, como, como otro más. ¿no? <risa> Ese es el problema. No hay, no, no, no veo, al menos yo, no veo eh, que, que el teacher, que, eh, que, o sea, sí parte del respeto, pues, pero, pero que se adapte a nosotros es, es bien esencial. Entonces, Eso me agrada, eso me agrada, y realmente yo me he quedado maravillado, pues, y ojalá que en la próxima sea. <risa> gracias, gracias Omar. Fíjense que a mí de veras, y yo siempre les digo esto, uh, yo he sido maestra por un montón de años, ya voy sobre mi año casi 19, 20 ya, de ser docente, y eh, sí, a pesar de que, <risa> yo sé que me veo joven todavía, empecé cuando estaba muy joven, empecé muy joven a, a dar clases, y, este, y yo digo, ¿Cómo a mí me gustaría estar en una clase a esta hora? ¿Cómo me gustaría a mí estar en una clase? ¿Cómo la disfrutaría yo? Entonces ahí es donde yo me voy y busco estas actividades, esto que lo otro, que no sé qué, para que ustedes también eh, se sientan cómodos, como a mí me gustaría sentirme en clase. Así que... Sí, 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 que, que eh, anteriormente, este, este grupo, creo que hay otras personas que se han integrado, pero venimos en un grupo eh, donde nos, nos dejaron mucho de lado o sea eh, y, y he escuchado a otro compañero porque tengo otro, otro bueno, eh, soy jefe de un área entonces eh, tengo otros eh, compañeros que están iniciando uh -huh. y me dice mire, a usted lo dejan 10 minutos eh, solo y después vuelven a decirle mire, quieren otros 10 y así vamos entonces me dice, nosotros, nosotros no podemos hablar pues, pero Estamos iniciando, no entendemos todo. Entonces, dice, yo soy uno, yo no, no le voy a decir que entiendo todo, pero como no entiendo todo, trato de, este, por eso estar, al menos escuchar eh, eh, pronunciaciones, etcétera, 
y igual voy a tomando mis anotaciones. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese es un punto. Eh, gracias, teacher. Ojalá que, pues, quiero seguir avanzando. Quiero Eso seguir aprendiendo. That's quiero important. seguir aprendiendo. Esa es, es una de las cosas. Otro, teacher, en la clase, en esta clase, eh, nos preguntó de que, de quality, de skill, eh, Achievements. Es, es, es como, como nuestro currículo. Ah, exactly. Ok. La, la idea principal de hacer este ejercicio donde yo les presentaba esto. Por ejemplo, ¿por qué? Porque muchos de ustedes van a afrontar eh, entrevistas, van a afrontar eh, eh, cualidades que vengan y le digan, bueno, hábleme de usted, ¿quién es Omar Francisco? Y okay. cuando usted solo se va a expresar ideas y dice, sí, mire, yo soy así, tengo tantos años y tantas cosas, tengo un gato, un perro todo eso, no va a ser impactante para la persona que lo esté entrevistando, el hecho de decir ah, no, inglés básico inglés básico, pero no, si usted okay, se va, okay. si usted okay. se va ajá, y si usted dice, yeah, I am imagine if I said like, I am Natalie I am 37 years old and I am Salvadorian very basic things But if I go and say, well, you know, I am a very passionate teacher. I have been on the field for almost 20 years. I have worked with many different levels of education. I have worked for basic students, for advanced students, for universities, for academies, for private programs, etc. I have created three different uh, curriculums for English teaching. I have published the three of them. I have worked with some books. I have helped many people. I have helped in different uh, foundations. And I am a very friendly person, right? I really love helping others. Okay. Esa presentación yeah. ya va un poco más profesional, ya va un poco más avanzada. Dice usted, hey, ese ya no es inglés básico. So that is, okay. that is a, a little bit more of impact, right? Okay, teacher, uh, I experience, I experience the finance and a contour. Y mencionaba yo, eh, mencionaba bachelor degree in public accounting. Que es como, bueno, yo tengo la licenciatura en contaduría mm -hmm. pública. Yeah, that's a bachelor. Me recuerdo que me hizo como una, una observación donde me decía como que, no, coloque eso, diga que, que es ah, como. Ah, here, 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 I have it. Por aquí lo tengo. Ok, let me see. I have here Omar. Ah, ok. Cuando yo le mencionaba que no lo coloque eh, isolated, que no haga las frases solas. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, I am an accountant. I have a bachelor's degree. Right? I work here. Ok, que no me haga las frases solas. Por ejemplo, en ese caso, usted me puede decir, I am a professional accountant. I have 20 years of experience. I have worked in different programs, in different uh, companies. Uh, I am very into the numbers. I love numbers. And si me dice como toda la información, como va, ya más como anidada una con otra, y ya no solo como frasecitas solas pero más allá como okay, contándome okay. un poco más, entonces ahí ya le hacemos el, el level up al, al, al idioma. Y ya no se queda okay. como algo básico, porque, por ejemplo, ¿qué es lo que usted me quisiera okay. contar? Así como, I am a professional accountant. I have a bachelor's degree on this. I have 20 years of experience on this field. And I okay. have done many things in my life, you can say. Y ahí me empiezo a contar como las cosas que ha hecho, las cosas que ha logrado. Elaborate file by them is uh, cash flow, et cetera. Exactly. Right? I have a lot of experience in cash flow. I have a lot of experience working with, I don't know, SAP or any other program, right? Yes. Entonces ah, ahí, okay, okay. ajá, ya cuando usted ya me va marcando como este soy yo, esto he hecho, esta es mi experiencia, estas son mis habilidades. Entonces ya su presentación personal, aunque sea solamente su presentación, ya se convierte en algo más avanzado en el idioma y no solamente frases sencillas de I am, I have, I work. Yes, it's correct, it's correct. Entonces va a ser de mucho más impacto para la persona que lo está escuchando. Okay. Teacher, in, in, ya en el campo laboral, en inglés, debe hacerse de esa forma. Le comento porque cuando nosotros en, contratamos a una persona, en, o, sí, se evalúa una persona, por lo general en español y bajo de estar es como que vayan al punto. Ajá. Eh, 
Pero en oh, si le estoy preguntando algo, contésteme esto, sí o no. Ajá, pero en inglés, como acuérdese que ahí le van a hacer una pregunta. Y si yo le hago una pregunta abierta de, who is Omar Francisco? Tell me about ah, you. Ok, yes. okay? Yes, yes. Pero si ya sí. yo le digo, sí. eh, what is your experience? Where do you work? How old are you? Si son preguntas puntuales, obviamente la okay. respuesta es puntual. Okay. Pero okay. Si, la, si le dan la oportunidad de que usted okay. tenga una apertura okay. a hablar, tiene que hacerlo lo okay. mejor posible. Yes, yes, Pero en inglés sería lo mejor, pues, porque si te pregunto en inglés, es, Ajá, eh, because si te estoy comentando, es, 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 es cierto, porque exactly. si no es básico. Exactly. Ajá, my name is Omar, pero desde ahí si, si me estaría respondiendo a la pregunta, what's your name? My name is Omar. Ajá, pero si yo le digo, who is Omar? Tell me about you. Okay. Es porque okay. yo quiero conocer toda la habilidad que usted tiene para comunicarse. Yes. Y entonces yes. ahí puede ser la diferencia entre, ah, sí, es un Omar que vino con inglés básico. O oh, no, Omar vino y... Exacto. I always say that to my students. Esa es su carta de presentación. ¿Cómo se vende usted en el idioma? Yes. Because it's like, Ma, yeah, I know English. Hey, but I am learning. I am very basic. And imagine if you say, well, I am doing my best to learn every day. I am constantly practicing. I am constantly learning. Le dije yeah. lo mismo, pero con un, un poco más yeah. profesional. So that's the difference. That's the difference. The idea of English is that you can cause the impact of using a lot of vocabulary, a lot of fluency, different words, different phrases for you to share and communicate. Not only the basic things. That's why yes. I, I always invite students to practice reading. Read a lot, investigate, watch videos, imitate. Yes, yes. Imitate the video, and that is going to help you a lot. Okay, I I am always like sending you links there on the group. A veces siempre les estoy como enviando links yes. de práctica y todo. Yes. Use them, use them. Yo creo que les envié uno de conversaciones sí. ayer. Let me see. Uh -huh. And that's a very useful thing. So check on it, practice, right? And I sent another one that it's called uh, for M English alternative uses of but. That lady has other videos for you to practice okay. pronunciation. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. you have to be you have to be curious. You have to be curious, and mm -hmm. for sure, it's the best way for you to continue advancing. Okay, Mr. Omar, whenever you need help, whatever other thing that you need, I am here to help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. En, en español tenemos eh, eso, sí o no, y no nos reímos. O sea, uh -huh. bueno, dependiendo de la pregunta. Pero en inglés como que es más, este, debe ser... ¿Más jovial? Yes. Es jovial. Ok. Este, the, the, eso difference, tiene que ser. the difference between English and Spanish is that in Spanish... You have la, que la tilde, que el no sé qué, que la fuerza de voz. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, en Spanish is really flat. Si se fija, el español es un idioma bastante lineal. Y es así yes. como, sí, te vi ayer en metro y te, no me saludaste. But in English you say, oh, yesterday I saw you in Metro Centro, but you didn't say hello to me and you just pass along. Right? Le tenemos que dar la entonación necesaria para que usted le dé. El sentimiento, el mensaje, la idea, right? porque puede ser la misma idea, el mismo mensaje, pero si usted yes. no le da la intonación correcta, se va a confundir. ¿Okay? Es como sí. que su esposa le conteste, ok. No es lo mismo que le diga, oh, ok, a que le diga, ok. Sí. <laughs> The okay. impact that you create. Yes. So that's, that's very helpful with imitation. Eso resulta bastante bueno cuando uno ve videos y hace esta imitación del okay. idioma. Entonces, ahí es donde uno va ganando este tipo de fluency y el tipo de entonación, que es muy bueno. Ok. Thank you, teacher. I am going to share like two other videos about Emma, where she goes with imitation. Ok. okay well, okay. Omar, have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow then for the next class. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.